What is up everybody? Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we're answering the question of how to debug a Python file in Visual Studio Code. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What up everybody? So you're having problems with your program and you're trying to figure out how to debug. If you're like me, a lot of times I just use the straight up print statements and print everything out and try and figure out where my problem's going wrong. But a lot of times when you get into bigger projects and even sometimes some of those smaller ones, it's nice to use a debugger. Well, just recently I had this issue happen in a program I was working on and I could not figure out for the life of me with the print statements why something was going wrong. So eventually I looked into using the debugger in Visual Studio Code. And at first I thought, this is gonna be a pain in the butt to set up because I've done this several times, or I tried this once before in a different language, I think it was C++, and I just, it just wasn't working for me. And this was a couple years ago when VS Code was pretty new. Um, but I am glad to say that it is actually really simple, and today we're going to walk you through how to set up, um, how to set up and essentially debug your application in Visual Studio Code. But first, let's talk about what you need, what extensions you need to do this with Python. So, if you go over here in Visual Studio Code and you set up, go down here to the Extensions tab, you're going to want to make sure you have this Python from Microsoft extension installed. So, what you can do is you can type up here, you can say Python, and you'll see that. Um, Python, you'll see all these different ones, and I would just choose this one right here, um, the one that has from Microsoft and over 45 million downloads. So get this one, install it. Mine's already installed, so I don't need to do this. And then once that's installed, um, you're gonna go. We're gonna go over here to the debug section, but make sure that gets installed. And hey, I just want to jump in real quick. Say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. Okay, so you got that Python extension installed, and it should look like um, basically you got them all installed. But we're gonna go over here now to click on this um, run and debug. And what you should see here is. Is you should see this create a JSON dot, or a launch.json file. So we're gonna click that and then we're gonna click Python file. And then basically what this is gonna do, and you can look into this some, some more um, in the future, but essentially what this is gonna do is this is gonna launch just the current um, file that you have clicked on when you hit this play button. So with that, what we're gonna do is just gonna save that. I don't need this anymore, I can close it. And if you ever need to go back to it and look into it, you can look, if I go back to my explorer right here, um, you see this .vs code. Well, that launch.json file is going to be right there. So anyways, let's go back to our debug. And now what I can do is look at right here on this side menu now, you should make sure that the debugger and everything's working. Um, you should see this ability to put this red dot on any line in the code. Well, what this is, is basically going to be your breakpoint. And this is this, this basically what a breakpoint is, is as you hit play, this will stop the execution in the script at that stop and will not execute that line until you to like, until you tell the program to like step over it or to step into it, like if it's a function. So what we're gonna do in just this example is I'm gonna set a breakpoint right there. And you can see down here, it's set a breakpoint right there at Python in Python examples.py. Um, and it shows right there the line number, which is 10. So now what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna hit play. We're gonna go right up here and hit play. And you can see it's doing all the stuff. It's getting in here to run and then boom, right there. It's gone in and started like, just like I said, we set a breakpoint, so it stopped right there. So this is telling you at this point in the, the running of this application, this is exactly where it's at and it has not yet executed this line of code. Well, the thing is, is in this program, I want the ability for it to you know, show this string that I'm having it put together in print. But for whatever reason, you know, it's not printing. Well, you all know it's not printing because there's not a print statement. Just, But just for a simple simplicity, what I can do is, is if I press um, right up here in this corner right here, and you can move this along anywhere you want. But right here, these are the buttons that you can use to debug. Now this button will basically mean just continue. We'll just mean, hey, continue execution all the way until you find another breakpoint. This one will say, hey, step over by one line. So just go to the next line. This one right here, as it says, is step into. So if this is a function that it can go into and this that the Python actually, or that it actually has the actual function or stuff that you can call into, um, it'll it'll do that for you and then go to the next in, uh, the next line of execution. And we're gonna actually do that one in here in a minute. And then this one is basically, if you're in a function and you're like, okay, like I saw where I am, I just wanna get out of it and go to the next line that was supposed to be out of it, then you can just escape out. And then basically this one is just like to restart everything over. Um, and then of course the square just to stop 
top um, and everything. And the nice thing over here is you have these variables. These will show all, like if you have any global variables, it'll show all those there. If you have any local variables, it'll show them there. Um, but we're currently, we don't have any variables. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna actually step into this function because this is a function. So we're gonna step into, and you'll notice that if I, well actually let's do two things first. Let's just step over and see what happens. We stepped over and well, that was the end of the program. So nothing happened. So let's rerun that again and you'll see it'll launch everything. Okay, it's there again. Now let's step into this. And now you'll see that, hey, we stepped into this because this is a function. And so now it jumped into this function and it went to the first line in that function, which is this string that I'm making right here. And you can see that it says we have a local variable called my string, which is this, which was you should, which we passed into this. And now if I take a step, you know, there's the end of the function. So what we want it to do is basically say, um, we want it to say return my step. So as you can see how this can be super this can be super handy and then we want to print this out we want to print whatever comes out of this function so now if I run this again we can go line by line where we're just going to essentially step into the function step and look hey you can see right here because we added this string which once was you should has now become you should subscribe to case digital if you haven't already please subscribe um, but anyways so now we're at this line and now we can say take the next step which is just going to be the print statement which is going to exit this function and then going to be printing out this so as you can see now it says you should subscribe to case digital which is exactly what i wanted this program to do and there it is folks that's how you use the debugger with in visual studio code with python um, if you have any questions or if you have any issues with like not being able to set breakpoints leave a comment below um, i had some issues with this once and i think i was able to figure it out so leave a comment below and i'll do the research for you to figure out what you can do to, to resolve that issue but any other comments or any other questions about debugging with visual studio visual studio code and python let me know i'm planning on doing a couple other videos on this with different you know things that you can do but essentially that's it that's how you set up and that's how you run the python debugger in visual studio code so again thank you so much for watching this video please hit that like button if you haven't already and if you haven't already subscribed we'll subscribe let's continue to program with one another and until next time keep on programming